The following is a semi-professional... Ah, fuck it, read it yourself. Alrighty, so this is going to be a little bit of a long episode. We're going to run 15 on this one, probably. Um, and we're going we're gonna to try something a little different. Uh, we're going to be a... Uh, is there one that has veils? Or, oh, here we go. Uh, poet has uh, trickery and knowledge, so we'll go with the poet this time. Um, so, Neil was right. It does kind of follow, as you saw in the last episode. You get to pass on your legacy, and I guess keep continuing the story and I'm sure it, the challenges become of how fast can you finish certain missions and and how many legacy points or whatnot or if you can even do it in one legacy turn. I'm gonna go for wealth this time. and uh, Just collect the monies. That's always a simple... Uh, and we're going to uh, be referred to as citizen this time. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's a poet. <laughs> Yeah, why no? A guy who drinks, he's a writer. <laughs> Bill Rattlestick. What's a rattlestick? Uh, wait, hold on. Giggle stick? Bill Rattlesword. It's a, it's actually a, a joke. William Shakespeare. Bill Rattlesword. Oh. Get it? The Labyrinth of Tigers? Oh, this looks like a horrible decision. <laughs> Look at him. He doesn't even care. He's like, fuck it. Eat me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking do it. It's better than the fog. <laughs> <laughs> quicker than the plague and better than the fog. <laughs> like, I mean, if you're, at, if you're at that moment of life where you just have a fucking candle. <laughs> All right. So... Vendor bite. I don't know where that is, but let's go to the Admiralty Survey Office and do this again because I know roughly where we needed to go last time, uh, and maybe we can go to oh Iron and Misery uh, Company Funging Station. Yeah, we, we know where that is. Yeah, we were there. Maybe you're supposed to just bumble fuck around in the game until you're like, oh, I heard of that place. Well, I know and live rough, out the legacy. I know roughly where it is anyway. Well, do you have the map? Pull up the map. Motherfucker. <laughs> I told you, I took, should have taken a fucking screenshot. But I do know it's like roughly northeast of where yeah. we're at. Yeah. Man, that's, that's fucking hard. Yeah, I'm sure there's a legacy where you get to keep map data or something like that. But we actually have to succeed in a mission and not just fuck up the entire way. Well, yes, that's true. Huh. Oh man! You know what? All right, maybe uh, maybe I'm feeling a little better about this game. What? Just because of the? Well, now we have kind of a purpose and a direction. Well, and yeah. I I always, you know, I, I kind of like games where you have to fail, and it teaches you something, you know. But you always get that kind of. Am I doing this right? Yeah, I can appreciate games like that. Um... I can also appreciate games that are just, like, absolutely unforgiving as fuck. No, definitely. Uh, it's kind of enter the gungeon, you know? It's just, you're gonna suck for a while. Or, um, Mega Man X, when you fight Vile, you know, it's difficult, and you're supposed to lose. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, what's another good example? Uh, just your first couple rounds in any Mortal Kombat or fighting game, you know? You, you get your ass kicked a bunch until you learn how to do it which is kind of funny because games don't do that fairly often anymore you know what i mean uh give you the whole helpless factor for a while yeah it, it feels like a lot of games spoon feed you for the way and oh god like not hell umbra that was god that trap of shit holy shit dude so for those of you who haven't seen it go ahead and check out at least the first couple episodes of now how umbra it's a pretty artsy game um Ugh. beautiful <laughs> artwork really uh, at the end of the day but it is trying to sell itself entirely on that man and i can't believe you give the art that much credit i didn't find the art that good well I mean, it wasn't jotun or bastion or fucking transistor but you know like it was decent like banner saga I, has way I better guess. art than fucking Nihal Umbra did. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just... Super Giant does such a good job with their games. Okay, bats. Fucking bats. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, fuck them. Oh god. They actually did like five damage to my hull. Jesus. Oh wait, don't forget to send your bat scouts out. And... I am. Oh. Are they bringing back info? Yeah, for the most part. Dissect those motherfuckers. Uh, they're succulent with stolen blood into the pot. What? Uh, yeah. Sure. Oh, we've gained one terror, but we got a new supply! Yeah! Where's the goddamn fungi station? I don't... I don't fucking know. Demu Island was close to where the funging station was. Moody's Light. Oh, you are way off, dude. Are we sure? <laughs> okay, I don't remember that place. Yeah. Well, this... This is like the rocks and... Oh, God, what is that? That probably will kick your ass. Yep. Not gonna fuck with it. It has double my hit points. <laughs> I'm the pincher! I'm the pincher! Let's give you a pinch. Oh, here it is. This is Demio Island. This is where we needed to go. Oh, shit. There we go. Yay! You were in the right spot. Yeah. Woo! Next to the fucking nipple pincher of doom. I hope he can't hurt me while I'm in dock. Yeah. Oh, damn it, he just freezes. That sucks. Alright, well... Maybe he'll go away? <laughs> <sighs> Maybe. Okay, um... Wow, you were damn near out of fuel, too. No, we got six. We got oh, six fuel okay. barrels. Well, at least you'll make the beeline back to London this time. Yeah, no shit. Uh, let's let's do some tea with the factor. We, we gained a supply, and we've been told of an exceptionally fine restaurant in Vendor Bite. Uh, we got three fragments. We lost two terror. Uh, what else? Yeah, your terror is at the <coughs> point there. Yeah, let's. Uh, Excuse me, everybody. Let's compile a port report and try to gather some supplies. We gained two terror and got another supply. All right. Well. Why the fuck is everybody afraid of everything? Um... To be fair, shit's dark. <laughs> I... <laughs> I just and feel that... Cheer up, my lads, let your heart never fail. The bonnie ship, the diamond, goes a fishing for the way. Are you allowed to sing that? Uh... Technically, yes. It's a sea shanty. Is it copyrighted? I don't know. Maybe you should look it up. Oh my god. I don't believe sea shanties are copywritten. I'm googling it. Alrighty. Well, while you're doing that, I am going to... Uh... Holy shit, first thing that comes up in Google. Wait, really? Yeah. Yes, they are. Sea shanties are copywritten? Yep. Holy shit. Well, my apologies to the original author of Bonnie Ship the Diamond. I had no idea the song was copywritten. It's a great song, though. Interesting. Oh my god. Any, uh, well, it does kind of follow under parody law. Uh, Drink Up Me Hearties, Yo Ho, and Hoist the Colors are all owned by Disney. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. Oh. Holy shit. Well then. Alright, I guess... Uh, Son of a bitch, that's uh, that's heartbreaking. Well, the, I know the birthday song is copywritten also. I don't know if I've actually said that on the show, but like, you can't sing Happy Birthday in a movie. Well, I know that. I, I used to work in restaurants. I know that's why, you know, TGI Fridays or whatever places have the Happy Happy Birthday from all of us to you. Shit like that. Mm. Or whatever jingle they replace it with. How does that go, anyway? Happy, happy birthday. From, from all, all of us to you, you, we wish it was our birthday so we could sing it, too. Um, uh, there's so many other different iterations. I, if I was a, a waiter at TGI Fridays, I'd be like, and be sure you tip us well for this, you greedy fucking Jew, or something like that. <laughs> like, <laughs> really? Yeah, really hit the racism oh, on the head. Oh, yeah, no, no, just go as fucking dark as I possibly could. Or as, uh, and then as soon as you, like, turn around, you're like, ooh, they're wearing yarmulkes. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I 
totally not getting tipped now. <laughs> oh, have you seen that one fucking... Uh, it's an image on uh, on the internet. I, I saw it first on Reddit, but there was a, uh, a picture of a girl... Of a girl's check. Uh, like, it was uh, 18% gratuity or something like that. And the, the customer had written, I give God 10%, why do you get 18 for the fucking uh, tip line. I've seen a ton of those things. Like, to be fair, it's on the internet. I know some of it's real. I know some of it's well, fake. It's on the internet. It's 100% truth. Right? Like, everything you read on the internet is true, right, Roman? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sure that shit happens all the time. I've worked in restaurants. I've never uh, worked as a server. I've just, and as my evidence as always is anecdotal, um, I don't have anything to hide. I've seen it all. Collect messages from the harbor master again. Uh, okay. Alrighty. I will say, at least here in the Cincinnati area, uh, definitely when I worked for uh, Skyline, different Skyline areas tip better than others for whatever reason. I couldn't say one or the other, but uh, there were a couple of waitresses at the one I worked at that, you know, on a weekend would easily pull in $200 in an eight hour shift. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. Was, did she just like sex it up? Or? No, man. It's well, a like the thing with places like Skyline is, is that and for any of the our nondescripts that are from out of the Cincinnati tri-state area, Skyline chili is one of our weird Cincinnati things. It's uh, chili on spaghetti with cheese. Um, they're basically little little like diner parlors. Uh, not really. You can sit down. They they have carry out, but it's diner food. So, you know, diners are kind of, you go in, you get out, you're not there for any more than 15 minutes. So being that as it may, yeah, if somebody has a $20 check, they'll only leave $2, which is 10% and kind of shitty. But the thing is, is you're servicing a table for no more than maybe three minutes on average. You know, you come in, you bring crackers and drinks, you say, what do you want? Somebody says, I want chili, I want conies. They go and bring it back to the table with your check, right? Right. So it's so it's fairly quick. It's not like if somebody sits down in a Red Lobster and it's, well, you want to see the drink menu and you know the... And I'm not saying one server's job is harder than another, but there's definitely different ways to do it. You know what I mean? The maitre d' at a fine steakhouse is going to have a little more to do than the fucking diner person. Uh, I don't know. Am I making myself clear or... It's sort of... I'm honestly half paying attention because I'm trying to read this also. Oh, okay. Um, well, um, but pretty much, you know, they somebody comes in on a Saturday night just being like, yeah, we don't want quite fast food. We want to eat something quick. So they go into Skyline, get their uh, conies and shit, leave $2 no matter what the thing is, or they leave a lot or just give the change. So hmm. servers would pull in two bills and shit easily on a Friday, Saturday night. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Gotcha. Yeah. Alrighty, so we've uh, we've gotten the information back to the admiral. Uh, we've got like 190 echoes. We've still got our original ship, so we're already like head and shoulders above where we were the last time. Um, Victorian Morpheus is. We've got a bunch, a whole metric fuck ton of quests that we've got available to us now. Um, there's a scholar that we yeah. can talk to, um, which is actually funny because they, they, they purposefully made the image of the scholar androgynous. Um, looks like a clockwork orange motherfucker. Yeah. It, well, they made the scholar androgynous because like a searing enigma, it won't be safe with her, him, but then it won't be safe with anyone. So like even your captain doesn't know the gender of this, uh, individual, um, which is amusing to me. And then there's this guy who's some kind of urchin who wants something. Uh, uh, 500 echoes for seven peculiar fish corpses. A very fine price. He's willing to pay 500 echoes for that. Uh, which is, oh my god, I, I really want to do that. But <laughs> Knifey grabby man? Uh, let's see here. This is the same guy. Um, 
who fucked you over. <laughs> well, he gave me a whole bunch of cargo that I couldn't hold. I don't necessarily want to call that him fucking me over, but I couldn't hold all the cargo that he gave me. Like, this time I can hold all the cargo. Um, inquire further. He runs a very fine and liberal establishment just across the river that uh, is much patronized by sailors and men of vit, wit and vinegar. A uh, public house, and there is no obligation to speak of. My patron would hope only that you might remember him kindly, and I suppose if the opportunity should arise for you to return his kindness, then I do not imagine he would refuse your offer. That sounds like a loan shark. Uh, um, kind of. We refuse. So, want to know what's fun about Steam and why they're awesome? Money's already been refunded. Oh, wow, really? You yep. just got your refund? Yep. Dude. Uh, just so you know, folks, uh, the game, uh, I don't know when it will release or date the episode, but we played Nihil Umbra, both bought it because it was on sale for two bucks, uh, hated it, and went to Steam's refund. It was refunded. Uh, it's been a total of four hours, Neil, maybe? Yeah, if that. If that. And we've already, apparently, you've already gotten your... Yep. Uh, I just got my Steam little b blink. Huh. That's awesome. Yeah, man, dude. they're great. They do a good job. We love you, Steam. Yeah, seriously, Valve, you are the shit. Valve, Steam, keep you on. Keep doing what you're doing. Okay, flares. Interesting. Like mine flares? No, 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 flares. Like a, oh, flare, like, like a, a fire. Torch. Magnesium. Yeah. Yes. Uh, strontium nitrate, specifically. That's what's in a road flare. Oh, I always thought it was magnesium. No, there's some of that in there, too, but strontium nitrate is what gives it the red glow. Oh. Do you know, Neil, why flares are able to exist underwater and in the water? Uh, it has to do with the chemical reaction burning hotter than the water, I believe. It does. Uh, flares burn so hot, and magnesium fires burn so hot, that it uh, evaporates and burns the water so quick that it actually takes the oxygen molecules and uses them for fuel. Now, that said, um, you actually can't do that with a cardboard flare. It has to be a plastic... Um, cased flare if you want it to keep burning underwater for a long well, time. Well, yeah, yeah, but... Um, which, that's the only difference between an underwater flare and, like, a regular road flare is yeah. that the underwater flare is typically waterproof. Uh, that's the same reason why if you try to squirt a magnesium fire out, it just gets bigger. Because it literally makes its own fuel because it burns so hot. There is a crate of human souls that I can buy. Well, that's nice. <sighs> what do they do? Uh, I think they're a commodity. Yeah, oh. they're a commodity. Oh, someone wants them? I guess. How many souls are in a crate, exactly? I don't know. It's worth $63, so maybe, <laughs> so maybe 100? 100 souls worth $63? Wow, apparently that's the price of a soul. What, 63 cents? Yeah. <laughs> or, uh... Yeah, that would yeah, that's right. Sixty three cents. I can't do math at all lately, man. <laughs> all that hardcore Molly you did in Bonnaroo. What? what? No, <laughs> I haven't it fucking was a joke. I haven't acided or done anything <laughs> like that. No, I know that's <laughs> a funny story about that though. I had a friend who I festied with in my youth and. You know, people are talking about, well, I heard it doesn't have any adverse reactions, and he just flat out came up and said, look, all I'm saying is sometimes I get confused when I write a B and uh, wonder if it's a backwards D, just saying. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you fried your brain. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay, so we can buy a torpedo launcher, but we need torpedo components in order to use it and this gun is I think the same damage as our current gun let's see yeah it's the same as our current gun so it's not an improvement um, let's see hmm well 
we've uh, ran this episode pretty long. Yeah, actually, we're past 20 minutes now, I think. Uh, um, yeah. But at least we actually showed this game doing some shit. Yeah, this is one I'm going to have to dig into, uh, like, some weekend uh, when I, I'm... Like, I definitely want to watch you play it. I don't know if it's good for the show. Uh, tell us what you think, Nondescripts. I mean, if you if you want to see us tell the story and go through it and see what's happening with uh, our new uh, <laughs> friend, because <laughs> fucking Dick Handley or whatever didn't do so good. <laughs> Dick Seriously. Yeah, Dick Seriously. Uh, alrighty. Until next time, Don Descripts.